Hey everyone, welcome to the last week of December 2023, Railfin Updates and Announcements, the last episode for 2023. The Steam Railroading Institute acquired a SW1200 Switcher diesel locomotive donated by Consumers Energy. Click on the link below in the description to learn more about the Steam Railroading Institute. Over at the Railroading Heritage and Midwest America's shop in Silvis, Illinois, new boiler tubes for Union Pacific Challenger number 3985 have been delivered. Also, staple caps have been delivered from the Strasburg Railroad. National Railway Equipment, or NREX, have also been assisting in installing new springs for Union Pacific DDA-40X diesel locomotive number 6936. UP44 Teens Tender will receive primer soon. Definitely help continue the momentum of these projects by clicking on the link below and make your donations today. And I have received word that Ed Dickens will have a lecture at the Visitor Center Lecturer Hall at 1906 Caldler Avenue in Beaumont, Texas on Thursday, January 18th at 6.30 p.m. This event is free and open to the public. Reading 2100 or American Freedom Train number 250 gets closer to return to steam as the locomotive has a new steam dome lid and backhead valve components. It won't be long until the first hydro test on this locomotive happens. With your continued support, it is likely that 2100 will officially return to steam sometime next year, 2024. Click on the link below in the description and make your donation purchase something from the online store, or even purchase raffle tickets for a chance to win $21,000. Over in Maryland, Amtrak has chosen the contractor for the replacement for the Susquehanna River Bridge on the Northeast Corridor. Contractor Flatteron and Herzog Joint Venture will handle the construction of the new bridge. According to this Trains Magazine article, it is expected for the construction to start early next year, 2024, and it will take about one year to complete. Click on the link to this Trains Magazine article in the description to learn more. Last but not least, the Blue Ridge Boiler Works acquired Dixie Construction Company 040T Tank Engine Number 7 and a Southern Railway Caboose, and they are at their new home. And it gets better from there because plans call for the Tank Engine Number 7 to be restored to operating condition. Follow Blue Ridge Boiler Works on Facebook for more updates. Thank you all so much for watching this video and showing your continued support for this channel and for rail preservation. To stay up to date on future updates in rail preservation and in modern railroading on this YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button and select the receive all notifications option after tapping the bell icon. I will leave a playlist of the Railfan updates and announcements videos on the left, as well as another video that YouTube will recommend for you on the right. Also, don't forget to like this video and comment your excitement down below. That is all for this week. This is Transcontinental Railfin, and I'll see you all next time.